Hello everybody, Andrea Tarowski here with Dental L Tutoring and this is part of the patient edition. Please excuse the mess here, we are moving in less than a week so things are a little bit crazy, but I still wanted to hop on to explain this part of the video for you. So I work as a dental hygienist about twice a week, sometimes once a week. Um, I've been in the dental profession for 13 years, so a long time, but I am primarily a tutor full time. So I love teaching and I love to explain things. But I've had a lot of patients ask me lately about root canals. Um, you know, new patients specifically who are just simply saying, so I don't need a root canal, do I? Or, okay, so what's a root canal? Or my friend had a root canal the other day, they were in a lot of pain, that's not going to happen to me, is it? So let me just explain what it is a little bit and why you might be in pain, but you shouldn't be in pain. Um, so a root canal is when the nerve of the tooth has been um, damaged, okay? So either the whole nerve um, the whole nerve is dead or it's starting to die or you have a cavity so large that it's so close to the nerve that it's starting to be affected. So root canals happen if you get a cavity and if the cavity becomes so large that it gets closer to the nerve. If you have a small cavity, it could only be through the um, enamel, but that's it. Um, but then you have the second layer of the tooth. So first you have enamel, and then you have the second layer called um, dentin, and a cavity could be through that too. But then once you have that, your pulp, so your nerve of the tooth is in the middle. If the cavity becomes so large that it starts to affect the nerve, that's when you need a root canal because if the nerve is affected, then you have to take the nerve out. So we have to take the nerve out for you. We have to clean it out. And people tend to always be so concerned when they need a root canal because they think it's going to hurt. It should not hurt. The only time it does hurt is if for some reason you have had a cavity there for such a long time and then you see us and then you say, oh my God, this hurts so bad and then we tell you you need a root canal, well, having to fix that problem, it might hurt because we have had to fix that when you're in a lot of pain. And even if we give you local anesthetic, if that tooth has become infected, so if the nerve has become infected, that local anesthetic can't properly freeze the nerve. So what we'd like to do is put you on some antibiotics first, and painkillers if necessary because if the tooth is infected we have to clear that infection first so we might wait at least three days to a week for that infection to clear and then we can um, perform the root canal treatment and then it will not hurt because the infection is not there now it's a little bit normal to have some discomfort after a root canal appointment because we've been in there like in your tooth cleaning out the nerve but it shouldn't be like oh my god i'm in so much pain when that happens it means the tooth has become infected so if you're watching this and you have ever had that happen to you or you're in pain now your tooth is infected and you need to see the dentist so that we can give you antibiotics to help with that tooth infection because there are specific things needed to help with the tooth infection. So we will likely need to take an x-ray to determine the type of infection and then give you antibiotics depending on that because you should not be in so much pain. When people tell you that a root canal hurt them, it's because their tooth was infected or their cavity was just so large that they've been in pain for such a long time that they're just used to it, as horrible as that sounds. But the thing about a root canal procedure is it's easy. As a dental assistant, I would help with that procedure all the time and I'd be sitting there. It's a, about an hour long procedure, sometimes longer, but I'd be sitting there just sitting there. Like it's not that exciting is what I'm trying to say because all the dentist does is clean out the nerve and it takes time. We need smaller instruments, you know, to get through the tooth, um, through the roots of the teeth, you know, to just clean it out. That's it. That's it. So it's not a bad thing for you because you just lie there and it doesn't feel any different. You can't feel anything because of the local anesthetic. So you just lie there and Every single patient that I have seen has said afterwards, 
oh, that wasn't so bad. Like everybody scares me about the root canal treatment, but you know what? It was just like any other day. I just had to lie there. But like I said, you might have some discomfort afterwards if the tooth has been infected. It takes time to heal, right? Like these things take time to heal, but it will get you out of pain. The other alternative to a root canal is having to pull the tooth out. So if your tooth is so infected or your um, cavity is so large, that it's affecting the nerve of the tooth and you might um, if we aren't able to um, save the tooth so for some reason if it's such a hard tooth if the dentist isn't able to save the tooth if they're not able to do the root canal then the next option is to pull out the tooth because you can't leave it the way it is or you will constantly be in pain you might be in pain for a week and then the pain goes away the pain will always come back so the root canal is obviously the better option because you want to save the tooth. But if they can't do the root canal for whatever reason, then you have to pull the tooth and then you don't have a tooth. So that's no fun. You'll be out of pain, but you won't have a tooth. So I hope this helped to explain things a little bit. If you guys have questions, please um, comment below. I am happy to help. And I'll see you guys in the next video.